what's up my babies welcome back to another video my name is Kay, and this is crown baller y'all we're gonna hop right into this video i'm gonna show you all how i make this 50 dollar bundle pack with the closure and three bundles for only 50 dollars. i'm gonna show you how i make this into a bomb wig okay so i'm just showing you guys literally the packaging and it has like the care the care the hair care tips on the back and it's showing you guys you can bleach it and all of that stuff like that so if you want to like put a little stank on it like you can if you wanted to so i went ahead and customized this lace closure it didn't come bleached so i went ahead and bleached the knots and plucked it a little bit to make it you know a little bit more natural and all of that are you ready now yeah oh wow <laughs> drop it like that <laughs> Y'all, this is my niece, and honestly, we have the best time recording together. <laughs> She's hilarious. Honestly, she makes all my videos. But yeah, um, I was having some technical difficulties with my freaking ring light. So my niece was trying to fix it as I was, you know, preparing her hair. But y'all see me grease her scalp before we get into this hairstyle. She's had these braids in for a while, and I wanted to, you know, keep it as a protective style. So we want to make sure it's nice and moisturized underneath. You know what's funny? I like how you block my face. <laughs> Every time I get on here, I look Stop like Stop looking this. down like that. I'm going to put that in the film. Girl, you don't have to close your eyes. <laughs> Jimmy Christmas. God, please. Yeah. What do you really think? Girl, what? <laughs> I told y'all all we do is clown. You hear me? <laughs> so this is a removable quick wig that I am customizing directly onto her head. So you can do this for your other clients or any or even yourself. Um, and I went ahead and protected her hair by putting the shower cap on. And then I put the wig cap right on top. I did end up cutting some of that wig cap because it was a little loose, as you guys can see at the top. But for the most part, you know, we just going to customize it to that. Have you done this before? <laughs> Honestly, my niece was just as nervous as me. <laughs> like, seriously, look at her face. No, but this was my very first quick wig. Um, I've done a quick weave, um, removable quick weave on myself with the flip over method, but I've never done one with a lace closure or a lace frontal. So this was my first time. And of course it was my first time doing it on someone else. So I was really nervous, but I was also excited about doing it. But um, you guys see me, I added some glue around the very edge of the lace where it's like really thick lace on the lace closure. Make sure you don't add it to where you know, the actual lace is going to be showing. I actually did that on the very edge and it kind of showed through a little bit, but I made it work. But yeah, you want to focus on putting the glue where the lace isn't going to show pretty much. Um, so I'm blow drying it down and you guys see me put some got to be glue free spray, like the hairspray on her cap. I further in the video you will see me put on the spritz i prefer the spritz over the got to be glued i feel like it sticks better and i feel like the got to be glued dries a lot faster than the spritz which i don't really know which one works best but i just felt like for me personally i preferred the spritz rather than the got to be glued so these are the bundles that i'm using it was a 12 inch well it was a 14 a 12 and a 10 inch i went in with the 12 inch at the bottom in the middle i put the 10 inch and then at the top i put some of the 14 inch honestly i was cutting this hair so it really didn't matter what lengths i put where because it was all going to be cut in the first place but i am spraying some hairspray or spritz whatever you're choosing and then i um add some glue to the top of the weft try not to get it on the hair and then i'll go ahead and add it to her wig cap honestly this is a repetitive thing and it's really self-explanatory really simple really easy um i went ahead since she did want a side part with the lace closure i kind of favored one side over the other as far as laying the tracks down but in the back i kind of just went cl as close as possible and laid the, the tracks down 
So that's what you guys will see me doing here. And I'm gonna let you guys watch. I meant to just say I'm using the blow dryer after I lay the track down to kind of like seal the glue onto the wig cap. And y'all, for I don't know who told me to do this. Honestly, I was just doing stuff at this point, but I sprayed the got to be glue free spray all over the wig cap for what? Who knows? You know what I'm saying? Who knows? But for me, this is all trial and error. I've never done this before. So I'm just guessing um, from seeing people do stuff on YouTube and literally just trying to do whatever. You hear me? So, um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. And before I even add glue and cut the tracks, you guys see me like take the weft and see how much hair I'm going to need. Then I cut that weft or then I cut that piece of hair, add the glue, and then I add it onto her hair. Um, so I'm not just cutting random pieces. I'm seeing where I need the pieces and what lengths I need the pieces also. y'all so by this point we're moving up on the ladder <laughs> um i meant to tell you guys before if you want to i've seen a lot of youtubers and just different people doing quick weaves they kind of like mark off their wig cap of where they actually want to lay if that helps you better then do that for me i was just trying to fit as much hair as possible for this style now here is where we begin to have the technical difficulties right my ring light just decided to just stop working completely so i'm just showing you guys clips of where we kind of like ended up so this is all the hair in and then i parted the lace closure down and i also glued the lace to her head i used the even wonder glue and i glued it down um i know the message was real but yeah so i'm just showing you guys the length of the hair and where it kind of hits her so after this, I'm going to straighten the hair because I want to just make sure that I get an even sleek cut. Yes, I combed her face and I apologized for it. Mind your business. Anywho, um, I was kind of seeing where I wanted the hair to actually lay. Now, mind y'all, this was my first kind of like blunt cut on someone else. So I wasn't really sure where I wanted it to hit, how high I wanted it to go, and where to stop at, honestly. So I kept cutting and um I was in super I was in super love with this cut. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Like I loved it so much, but I ended up cutting a little bit higher. It worked out because it came out so beautifully. Like, oh my gosh, look at it. Just wait till she tilt her head a little bit because it's beautiful. But I used the clippers to finish the cut. Oh my gosh, yes, honey. And then um, I'm going to show you all the finished results. But y'all, I bumped the ends after I finished cleaning up this bob and baby was in love. This is the finished result. Let me know what you all think. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below and I will see you on the next one. Mwah. Oh, I can see the light, the light in my face. I like it. <laughs> That's nice. I like it. I gotta fix on everybody. <laughs> okay. Shake your hair a little bit, just a little bit. Stop playing. Even though I got a lot left, there's a length there. Okay. <laughs>